Okay, so we're getting him back against the cage. How do you get him back to the cage? All kinds of ways. Once we get past, I always call it a warning track. When you get yeah, five, six feet away from the cage, it's time for the opponent sometimes to accelerate this guy. It's also the time for the guy's back who's getting close to the cage to have that panic that, oh crap, the cage is behind me if you don't want to be there. Um, and usually you don't. It's like playing chess. You'd rather be in the center. With that being said, what caused me to go back? She could blitz me. Holly could just blitz me back. She blitz me back. I go straight back. Okay? And then she's on me. Um, so that's pretty easy. She could kick me hard. Boom! And I'm back on the cage. Um, she's going a little slower and I'm trying, okay, I'm thinking about peeling out this way, she cuts off the cage, I go this way, she cuts off that cage, she cuts off the cage, and now, we're, now I'm in that place where I can't retreat anymore, and she's gotten close to it. Once she's gotten here, so many options, I'm still thinking about getting out, so I'm right here with Holly. If, if I think about, let's say, getting out on this side, as soon as I start moving, she over-exaggerates your motion over here, and she might catch me with a hook, and then all of a sudden, look at that line, talk about with the elbow right there, so that one's a real good money shot. So what we're talking about is cutting the person off and stop and kind of corral on them, whichever direction they go, and then you go to work with the elbows because the elbows are close range type of shots. A couple good ones that are here is I love when she throws an outside hook here, boom, hits that elbow. Bam, up to the center line right there. Because that outside hook, people want to get hit and have a tendency to boom, hit here, here. And they come up. I can't run away because I have this cage behind me. So elbows are fantastic. So try again. Bang, bang. You'll see people do that same move. They'll throw a hook and they'll throw a knee. Boom, same move, but now we're doing that rising elbow. So show us a look, rising elbow. Hits hard there again, go, boom, bang, miss, and yeah, same thing, rising elbow. Boom, good. She can do it the other way. She can bait an overhand, let's say with her left hand, which makes me pull this way. And then look at this elbow elbow coming up. I didn't have to tell her she's so good at what she does. She made that up. So she fakes wide here, boom, or throws wide, and I come to the center. When people get to the cage, they have a tendency to panic. They have a tendency to, um, I want to say cage up, so they hear a lot. This line is so easy to hit. This line's not too bad either. So again, she hooks out, boom, hits that line, bang. Now let's hit it the other way. Let's say she hooks out with the right hand, boom, and now she comes over the top, that left hand, boom, over the top, because I, I do this, maybe boom, boom, and she saw that adjustment. She's quick thinking. So she comes here, she hands down. Again, it's about finding the hole. So she cuts off, drops me, and comes down to the top. Same thing on the other side. If I'm going this way, she's going here, she's going to the top there. Again, that's open stance. So she might be same stance, even changing. So now she throws the hook, the left hook, boom, and down, boom. She comes up, or she comes over the top. Over the top. So a lot of good ways right there. What are your favorite tricks, there, Holly? I think there's just, obviously, some people I think are gonna freak out and pull back. So then if they wanna come over and if they get scared and wanna close, that's gonna be maybe. That's a good way to describe it. That's exactly people when they pull, we attack with kicks, but then we're out in the open cage, but then close, they're coming over. And that, I thank you for explaining that. So I'm freaking out, she's coming over the top. If I cage up, she's coming up the middle. Simple as that. So it's those two things for just the attack. But she can also get rid of my arms. She can get rid of my arms. So she can just pull her arm down and find that strike time we talked about before. I can't move, so now it's about her quickly closing that gap. Just pull one of my arms down. So, oh my, she has the same side. You notice she pulled one down. Now there's nothing here to keep me from driving that elbow into her. So she pulls one down and drives that elbow in. Or she uses this hand. She pulls it down and drives that elbow in. Try again. Oh, try again. Go. Oh, good. It's kind of weird though. Sometimes when you, when, you, when you shut people's arms down, sometimes you can get the whole turn of the body. And sometimes you can hit with the other elbow. It doesn't always have to be the same side. You'll start feeling these things that work out best for you the more you start doing it. So now you can use two hands, pull both hands down. Boom, and you can one and the other. I guess you could do oh. this, but that would be better. Yeah, one or the other, go for it. Boom, that was nice. Try again. Boom, to the end. Boom, go. One more time, go. Nice, nice. She has those elbows there. We get a little closer proximity. We talked about it a little earlier. We're gonna be doing this later on. We start doing some clinch work. And let's say she has an underhook here on me and she has wrist control. So she's in this position here. Now you notice her elbow is coming up. Bang, hitting here. I can't have nowhere to go. I can't run. I'm kind of stuck. Look at this. Hold on. As soon as she lets go with this hand, there's no way I can get my hand up here fast enough to block all this. She has free reign on me. So if she wins the hand fight, 
If she wins this hand fight right here with me, she can hit me with the elbow all day long. Bang! Right there. Bang. Try to get. Bang. If she was to have bicep control, that elbow comes across. Bang. Try to get. Boom. There's nothing I can do about my hand. My hands over here. I can't do anything about this. My head's stuck and she's controlling my arm. So as soon as she releases, if she's quick and brings her hand in, like we talked about earlier in this video, toward her chest, she can hit me quickly right there. So here. Bang. Again. Boom. If I was, just something we'll talk about, if I was to get outside of here, she can actually come kind of chicken wing it inside, hit this way with her elbow. So from here, boom, she hits that direction. Bang, go. So we have some guys in the gym that are just funky to watch some of the things that people are pulling off. Any direction that's open, people are able to hit with elbows quite a bit. So once it gets to that cage, you can remove something or hit the hole or, or find, find, find the hole. Make, make sense? Yeah, with the footwork. Footwork in the open. You have all this space to move and they have move, room to even move backwards. That's why we're talking about getting closed. Now, they have nowhere to go. So after that first initial close, you've That's got where, them where you want them. Yeah, you're gonna start seeing combinations. There's no doubt about it. So let's say you, you throw throw one elbow, however you get there, get there any way you want. So boom, now she's got a second elbow, whatever that might be. So whatever, she, she'll make up another elbow because she's that good at what she does. She throws one elbow to the second elbow. So their combos come in so well with elbows because you have nowhere to run. Much easier, I believe, to throw combos here than out there. So she comes in. Oh, oh. I know where to go. I know what she's doing. Go for it. Oh, good. Let's get that one. Go for it. Yeah. She tries it again. Go. Nice. Go. Go. Oh, good. Good. Let's stop for a second. That one right there, we did that in the open. She went and jab. I thought for sure in my mind that she was coming around. But instead, she came up the middle of that frontal line right there. And it caught me off guard. Even my, my, my old age defense, she threw one. And I thought for sure she was going to throw that one, but it spliced me right down the middle. She did the same thing. She throws her two, the same side elbow. So, boom, and then boom, comes up the center line. So, all those ones we saw here in the open work out really well right here because the person can't move. They can't move. She can go a little crazy. She could start put your hands up for a second. Like, and, and she could be, oh, me a little bit. she could just be this person you're firing, and then all of a sudden you shove it up the middle. Because people have a tendency when you just start throwing big shots at them, people cage up, and they're like, they're protecting the sides, but they're leaving the center line open. So if you throw a combo, <laughs> yeah, she comes up the middle, go. Oh, good. I don't want to leave my face there, so I'm going to hit it, go. Oh, good. Up the middle, go. Huh? One more time. All of them? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Same thing. If, if 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 you hit somebody with a body shot, if she goes and throws, let's say she throws a hook in my body, boom, I'm right here. Now next guy shot can come up the middle. So she body and up. Go for it. Body up. So I've talked about before is if you hit wide, the center line's up. Mike Tyson made, made a minute career out of ripping it wide and come up the middle. Same thing, but now you're wide and come up the elbow. Try to go for it. Oh, oh, she can do this arm as well. Good, good, good. And what I'm noticing, people are getting more and more of those see people that are right here. You're starting to see people right here. Now when they're coming up, coming in. You're starting to throw things like that where they're, they're spicing this midline. So important, coming up and coming in. People are getting more creative with what they're doing. You, it's it seems kind of incredible, huh? It's kind of getting scary in there. I feel like I've even seen people completely closed, but if you come with enough force, that apple still splits right down the middle. Yeah, Worst yeah. case scenario. Yeah. yeah. Say so you don't get them open, open, open. I mean, I've seen it. And what I think too is the elbow always has a tendency to drag through. So she's, she's caged up, wherever the case is. That elbow, this, this camera is a good shot here. No matter what, it always has a tendency to find its way on something. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how when my elbow hits here, it starts sort of pulling her arm down as it drives through. Again, I can get crazier with it. I can actually remove mm -hmm. on my way. Or I can move one into two. So it works out that way real well. If uh, someone puts their hand on you, it's the same thing. From here, you can remove their hand and bring that elbow in. You can move it real fast. She throws a punch at me. I pick it and move it on the elbow. So she throws a punch, you pick, 
an elbow. My first, I'll go over here because she can be beating me up. So she picks it and throws an elbow. Boom. Good. Or let's say I get to put my guard out. She pulls it out of the way and comes over top. John Jones has done a lot of that. People are out here. So pull some over. I throw a punch. She picks the elbows. If I throw this one, she's going to pick with this hand. Oh, try that one, go. Go. Good. Same thing now. This one, pick with this one. Give me a second elbow behind it. Oh, uh, sorry. Go, go. You're good. Go. Oh, scared me. Try again. Go. So remove something that's in the way or something to attack you, deal with it, and then where's the hole that was left when you remove an object or, or, or pull off deflect it? Yeah, makes 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 good sense. You're starting to use that all the time on people, huh? It's getting fun. Yeah, it's getting fun. Okay, she did a little bit of it before, but now I'm against the cage. She's gonna fake the takedown, and from here, I want you to do this, Holly. Um, I want you to fake down low, but with the background, I want you to shove it up the middle that way. So she comes in, and she shoots in. Boom. My whole mind goes, her head, her arms going here. I'm already starting to think, defending the space right here. So most people, when they defend takedowns, they have a tendency to change levels and open up a little bit. They want to block the frames, they want to underhook, but their face started getting exposed in the center line real fast. So again, she shoots down low. Boom, and drives that sucker up in there. Trying to get go. Boom, one more time. Go for it. Nice. So many in there. There's just, there's just so many elbows in there. But the, the basic is just this, guys. This thing's real pointy. <laughs> just use it. And it's this hand comes into her chest, she's cutting the face this way. Comes in her chest, she's cutting the face that way. Whatever you're doing is just rotate that body, the direction the energy needs to go. And the cool thing about it is you can kind of hide behind these things as you're striking and hitting. You don't have to worry about getting punched in the face, which nobody likes to get punched in the face. So the keys, elbows, guys. Twisting the body, pulling the arms in, twisting what you're doing. And then Holly brought up a great fact was we have to figure out when and where to do this in space. And that's what she was talking about is long range. I have no elbow. You can't even move the elbow from here. Got your feet. She's got to get her feet. So she has to do what? She has to bring her feet. So part of elbows is understanding that right there. Do it again, Holly. Boom, boom. Does it seem like a lot? But if you don't have that, it's useless. This, the whole video will be useless. For you, can't even reach without yeah, it. You, you can't get in and try it again. So, boom, Here. yeah. Mm-hmm. No doubt about it. Try it again. Boom. Try it again. Boom. That's the key: is understanding where your fighter is going to go in the cage. In the open, and make people move quite a bit. You start getting them against the cage; they want to get out, but they they can't run from you. So it slows things down a little bit as far as that 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 movement. So they're in space for these tighter type of shots. And then, Hopefully they're running away and uh, you get this at the end yeah. with this stuff, yeah. Just like a small little other, I, uh, just a thought. A lot of times when you start doing that, it's scary, they might just be trying to grab onto you. It's also pretty hard to grab onto someone with elbows coming in their, <laughs> their face, you know. It's but. huge, it's huge. And that's that's something that, that uh, uh, we'll be talking about in some other videos. If I was to attack Holly this way, as I try to grab her, anytime I try to grab her, she's, she's got these little, this, She's got alligator arms, right? She's wanting to get underhooks. But every time I'm in here, she's right, those rising elbows are constantly keeping people from getting by locks and grabbing. How do I grab her? We'll be talking about that quite a bit in the future. Those elbows up the center become a big part of the game. Um, and they can be used at length, and that's what we'll be talking about down the road. But uh, anyway, that's elbows. That's Ooh. elbows, and I think <laughs> they're, you, you can apply them anywhere. Um, and a lot of times when you get to the cage, they're either gonna try to get out, so you can try and trap them. Maybe you've already hurt them and they're just trying to survive and have got their hands up. Maybe they are in desperation and they're trying to grab onto you. So just to stay, you know, trying to find those openings and create those openings. And that's with what we started from through all of it. You can make them go wide, so you open, make, open up. Um, if they grab onto you, well, we're gonna talk about that in a whole nother, a whole nother video because um, there's a whole nother series with that. Um, so. Elbows are cool, so you know there's no doubt John Jones elbows people. But what I want to really want to do is go back and watch Holly hitting Ronda with an elbow, watch her jumping up and and Superman elbow and Cyborg. Uh, she's got her elbows of her own, and she's not done yet. You watch, there's more elbows coming. Um, they're getting better. Just been waiting. Yeah. Show them. Just getting better. And one last thing to 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 leave you with is put their face in a blender. That's just kind of sounds sick. That's that's a thought. That's what you thought is. Bang, bang. 
giving those elbows hard and one way and then coming right back the other way or one would come right back to that same elbow. People don't expect that sometimes. You hit one and come right back and, and it's, it's constant, it's, it's scary, it's hard, hard to block. So elbows, guys. Um, there's this, Before I was doing MMA, uh, just from doing hooks and uppercuts, so I used to do this for that, but I've been using it to apply for MMA with elbows. Is just to drop, lift, or lift, drop, or lift, drop, lift. Just always, if if you're you're starting to go down, you can always go back up. But sometimes um, people will have a tendency to come back after one, and then they want to drive up, but their legs really aren't in the position to be able to do it. I mean, you can always drop, you know, again and drive it. But if you want to, so are you trying to say is load this load. one? Load. Yeah. This one. If you're already here, you're already ready to go up. Just right back down. You can always flow with it, kind of just shadow boxing, lift, drop, kind of just move around and get used to feeling that. That way, when you're moving around, you know, you can kind of feel it while you're moving. Just yeah, yeah take all his advice, guys. Repetition, she's the queen of repetition, just moving, flowing, is constantly doing it. Starting to visualize what you're doing by getting get your core going, mm -hmm. get your body moving, and kind of feeling it and seeing yeah. it. Yeah, it makes Use sense. The core. Hey, guys. Core. Yeah. Elbows, guys.